5 ways to get started in Metaverse and how to invest in Metaverse. Beginner's Guide. The term metaverse has recently become a buzzword, but how do we get started investing in metaverse? There will be many different approaches to this and we'll break them down. Welcome to metaverse. In today's video, we will teach you the 5 ways to get started in metaverse and how to invest in metaverse. Let's get started. All the ways to invest in metaverse. The term metaverse has become increasingly popular as Facebook has announced its rebrand and its name change to the term Meta Facebook has made it perfectly clear that it is its intention to build out their version of their idea of the metaverse. And a lot of people are certainly asking questions. As we can see, a ton of people searching the term metaverse on Google. And I certainly believe this is the future of the internet. Internet. I think Web3 and the Metaverse is going to be the future of where all of us are going to be headed to. So if you are watching this video right now, you're ahead of like 99 of people that are old only there who are currently unfamiliarized with the crypto and NFT. There's actually a multitude of different ways we can start investing into Metaverse this early and those ways are going to include purchasing those cryptocurrency tokens that are supporting that Metaverse. We then have the identity, we then have the individual NFTs, we also have land slash properties that's located inside the Metaverse and this publicly traded stocks that are supporting an infrastructure and building off the Metaverse. These are all different ways that a person can end up positioning themselves in the metaverse. Cryptocurrency Metaverse Tokens The cryptocurrency tokens are supporting these metaverses. Now, if we take a look about the coin market cap or coin gecko, you can click play to earn or gaming and we're gonna see the current gaming tokens that are featured right now, as well as the metaverse tokens that are available at the moment. And we're gonna take a look at these four tokens right here. In the top four, we can take a look at Axie Infinity, the Central Land the sandbox and my neighbor alice all of these essentially are building out their own metaverse mostly i would say in a sense for the decentraland and sandbox that is truly a metaverse but axie infinity is also going to have land gameplay they will be end up releasing which could also function as a metaverse if they end up choosing to do so these tokens are used for in-game transactions because assets right now so let's say a buyer wants to buy a certain nft they will have to be actually transactioning this token right here and a lot of people are investing in these tokens in behalf that these platforms will become the landing metaverses one day you can actually think of this as somewhat like a stock i know it's not exactly what a stock is but you don't have any ownership like within the game you don't have ownership of the central land you don't have ownership of the sandbox but you are essentially owning some sort Sort of the stock line asset that is supporting the actual growth of these games and we can actually take a look of some of these individual tokens right here and after the Facebook's announcements that they will be rebranding to the term meta we can actually see a huge increase in volume from the initial price for some of these tokens right we are looking at the mana right now we can see it was sitting at around 79 cents and after Facebook rebrand to meta we actually saw this token skyrocket to the new all-time highs to around $3.50, which is absolutely insane. And we saw similar behaviors actually with a lot of these tokens in the play to earn a gaming section. Same thing with the Sandbox, which is another metaverse that is currently building at the moment. We saw a dramatic increase in volume after the announcement from Facebook, so you're able to get some exposure to those games by actually purchasing the token that is supporting this in-game purchases and ecosystem of these metaverses. Land Property there's actually portions of lands you can purchase into some of these metaverses. And with these lands, you can actually potentially build out businesses. You can build out games, events, your very own home. 
where your avatar goes and chills out after. It is done partying in the metaverse and many other things. And two really good examples of this of actually purchasing land in a metaverse that we're going to be talking about is going to be the sandbox and the central land. Now we're taking a look at the sandbox. Currently we can see a map of the sandbox, the land that is located within the sandbox and you can actually purchase parcels or plots of land within this game. And we can see something cool about this is you can actually put like a profile picture for the land to actually represent who bought this right. So for example, we can see the walking dead ended up purchasing this land, Atari purchased this land over here and we see some unsold pieces of this land right the ones that are you see in the sandbox actually haven't sold just yet or haven't had their land sale for their selling of those plots of land just at the moment but there's a good amount of these lands that have been sold and a lot of these land plots are being used to actually create events, create activities, create games within the sandbox and we can actually see the central land and their very own version of these as well as they have their own map that we can go check out as well as their own marketplace onto Central Land's website where we can actually purchase parcels or plots of land in the Central Land. Now, one of the really cool things about this land is you can actually own the property right, own the property within the game, like you own the property in real life that you're currently living on. And within these games, you're able to do whatever you want within that property and land that you own. There are so many different experiences that we can potentially build out with these plots of land. So it makes it really interesting to see what individuals are currently doing right now. And these plots of land actually have a limited supply, so there's only going to be a certain amount of land that will ever exist within these games. So let's say the central land and sandbox grow into these massive games. Within and massive users bases, there is still going to be only that limited amount of land that will ever exist within these games and the user base is consistently increasing right so the demands of these lands and people wanting to purchase their own plots of land may increase as well one of the ways to get exposed into investing into the metaverse is actually by purchasing one of these plots of land that could potentially increase in value within the future if the demand of these plots of land grow wearables and nft now within a metaverse avatars are going to give and have some piece of clothing or some piece of actual items and wearables they will be using the represent themselves within that world and those assets themselves could be nfts and exclusive to those metaverses so we're going to jump into the few marketplaces to give you some representation of what i'm talking about here specifically talking about the wearables at the moment we can take a look back at the central land and we can see they have a whole dedicated marketplace for collectibles which essentially encompasses wearables as well as avatars that are used within the central land have clothing and some of those clothing pieces are limited edition only items if we have take a look at the marketplace type and the artifact Artifact Studios, which is a prominent creator of these wearables within the central land. And we click one of the items right here. We can see that the item, this hoodie that we're taking a look at right now. Here is actually a limited edition item that only contains 10,000 of these hoodies that will ever exist and as NFT within the central land. So these themselves are limited edition items that could potentially become popular right within a metaverse. And similar land as the user base for these types of games grow or popularity for these assets from Artifact Studios continues to grow. As well as we can see more demand coming in to purchase this actual in-game assets. These in-game wearables for the avatars they are using and there are some unique wearables that people really like to wear such as the board ape club hoodie and some of these artifact studio pieces 
people really enjoy wearing within the metaverse. In real life, humans like to express themselves with clothing and wearables that are items that they can put on their physical body. It's not going to be any different within a online world, such as a metaverse. This is a way that we can express ourselves as well as a plex into a sense. So instead of rocking a Rolex which in real life and trying to impress people who really care about the type of stuff, we can instead wear a board ape yacht, club hoodie, in an artifact studio sneaker within these metaverses to express that level of flex. These assets could potentially rise into the value, demanding on the demand of that coming for them. Now, another aspect of these in-game assets that I wanted to talk about here, and we can jump on to Axie Infinity Marketplace. Right here is some of these individual assets, right? These axes themselves are NFTs that are able to be used within these games, and some of these axes can go for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on the rarity of those axes. The main reason this axes actually have a value in the first place is not only because the collectability some of these axes actually have, but instead, you need an Axie to actually play the game. Axie Infinity, so these NFTs give you the ability to play the game. Infinity, so these NFTs give you the ability to play the game that you are wanting to play. There are also in-game assets that are going to be used for their LAN gameplay. Lunesia. Once it comes out to these in-game assets are going to be NFTs themselves, as well as depending on the assets and its usability within the game, and the amount of demand coming from it. It could also rise in value as well. So in this section, so in this sector, I wanted to show you the opportunity with this individual NFTs, these wearables as well as the in-game assets that are currently located within these metaverses. Because there's opportunity there is as well as if the user bases for these games continue to grow and the popularity and demand for these certain items that provide value or some level of status continue to grow. We can see an increase in value for some of these NFTs public stocks. Now moving on to the final way to get started in investing in the metaverse is going to be actually investing into certain stocks that are supporting the infrastructure and building off these metaverses. Obviously, we can purchase some Facebook stock if we really believe in meta. But in all seriousness, these companies, right, some of these massive companies that we know here today, we are going to be crucial for building out the infrastructure for the future of this web 3 metaverses and some of these businesses could see explosive growth right due to the amount of demand for their project or services and some of the stocks i'm going to throw are right here the first one is obviously going to be facebook because they are going to end up building out their own vision that what a metaverse should look like and they have decided that they are going to become a metaverse company that we can have other tech companies like apple and we can have NVIDIA, we then have a Roblox which I think is a super interesting one. Metaverse Index Token It's a pretty cool way that we can possibly get some exposure into a ton of these tokens that are surprising. The Metaverse and what we are taking a look at right here is called the Metaverse Index. And we can think of it like an index for publicly traded stocks, but in this case it is for play to earn gaming. Metaverse tokens right here are right. So it contains all of these tokens into one index, into one e ERC20 token. So instead of purchasing individually each of every one of these tokens are adding more risk to your portfolio. You could end up purchasing into the metaverse index if you just want to get exposed to. A lot of people are excited right now for the metaverse. It currently has a become the buzzword as of recently. 
ever Facebook since had made that announcement. And a lot of people can really envision ourselves really getting immersed into this online world. And with that, there's also a lot of people that are looking to capitalize on the opportunity of being this early and investing into the metaverse or metaverse-related assets early as well. Now, obviously, this is all incredibly risky as we will do not know which one of these metaverses will succeed and crypto and NFTs in general are just a risky asset class. It's going to be very and super interesting to see how this all plays out. So what are your thoughts about this topic? Do you think this video is useful? Please let me know by leaving a comment down below and if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you on our next video.